opening turn. The Capuano to go in the ruck for the Saints. Clark off the tap, only as far as Rewalt. First effective disposal of the game. Goes inside 50. Here's the dangerous Stephen Mill. Could be a dream start. Runs to 30 metres out. Goes for goal and kicks it. What a start for the Saints. <laughs> goal inside the first 20 seconds. A great umpiring decision. So Hamill will kick from right on 50. Leans back. Starts to bend it right to the line. Big pack of players. A big grab. Very strapped as well. And Kaczynski from close in kicks a goal. It's a throw in. Plenty of players around this one again. Clark got it down to Burton. Kick over his head towards the 50. Edwards and Black. Edwards tracks it back. Chance for Goodwin now. Just inside 50. Spots a target. It's smart. It's got a weight underneath it. Did so. And took a courageous mountain spoil. So here's Nigel Smart for Adelaide's first goal. And the veteran makes no mistake. The Crows are on the board at the Telstra Dome. Goes across half back. McLeod wants it short. Too much carry on the ball. And Harvey chips in and takes the mark. Inside 50. Going to drop short. Wolf running in front. On Hart. I like Wolf as a player. I reckon he's one of the big improvers for St Kilda. He's quick, he can jump, he's athletic, and he can be a thumping kick. From outside 50, Wolf leans back. Great kick, great goal. Three straight goals for St Kilda. They lead by 12 points. Ken called that if he wishes. I think uh, it happened once last week in, uh, in round one. Ball. Didn't quite get the handball away. Hamill can set it up, goes wide. There's a chance for Baker. And his 50th game bangs it through. That's a two. Great play from Bassett to Smart. And they come away towards the wing, but only as far as Jones. Adelaide defence under pressure. Jones wants to move it quickly. And finds Thompson. He'll set up 75 metres out from goal. Thompson, short pass is a good one. And third time lucky for the Sun come off for them. They just set themselves up across half forward again. And finally got reward finding Aaron Hamill. Coming up for his sixth possession. Kick on its way. Looks straight. Has it got the legs to get there? It does. Great start to the second turn for the Saints. Hamill's got his first. This season. He is certainly uh, the focal point up forward. He's got great presence for St Kilda. And the Saints at the moment... Uh, first of the ball, winning the ball at ground level, and they're looking a bit too quick. Now, running with a fly of the ball, not paid. A bit too quick for the Crows. Smart on hands and knees. Was that a free kick? The ball, he's got it. They are desperate, St Kilda. They're running hard, putting their bodies on the line. They're running in numbers. Waves of St Kilda players coming down the ground. And they have completely shocked the Adelaide Crows here at Telstra Dome. They are off balance, the Crows. They may not have expected such a such a, an inspired St Kilda who's turned up after kicking that opening goal from Stephen Milne just a few seconds into that first quarter. His ball. One of the young guns for the Saints. From right on 50. Beautiful kick. Super goal. Saints by 31 points. And we see Riley off and Rusciuto on for the Crows. Rewalt, clever play, just hacked it out of the air to centre wing. On the burst is Ozzy Jones. Brings the St Kilda fans to their feet. Ozzy on the charge, inside 50. In front, great grab, Kaczynski. Super grab. And what an option he will be up forward. We're in the famous Stewie Low number. Going for goal number two, 55 metres out, leans back, unloads, great kick. And the Saints by 37 points. Playing Adelaide and beating them at their own game. Clearances running the ball hard. Possessing the football. It's Adelaide's go, but today it's been all St Kilda. Rusciuto, just his second touch coming up. Handball to Tawny. Smothered. Hayes. The Saints go forward again inside 50. Hamill crunched at the back. Milne runs to 15 metres out. There's another one. Milne's got two and the Saints are on fire. to 
the bench to be replaced by Schwartz. And the trend just continues. St Kilda getting forward from the centre. Inside 50s this term, 6-2. to two. Disposals 29-16. to 16. Lee Watt taps it down. Bickley to Burton. And the bounce to Johncock. To Bassett. And now the Crows go forward through Stengline. Moyle runs him down from behind. He's under pressure. St Kilda, one percenters have been fantastic this afternoon. Bickley tries to work his way through traffic. Steps through the Thompson tackle. Gives it to Goodwin, who from 48 metres out goes for a goal and kicks out late second. really been a goal kicker. Okay, but of those ball magnets, apart from Rewalt, they've all spent plenty of time on the bench. Uh, Grant Thomas very aware that his side might be underdone, and he does want to keep them fresh for the second half, particularly the last turn. Well, Mark Rewalt has taken a beauty. He's great overhead. Here's Moyle's left foot. He should kick a goal 35 metres out. Tidies up to Goodwin, to McGregor, releases McLeod, runs to 60 metres out, neat pass. And on the lead, they've been breaking down in that area, so hopefully it's the start of things to come for the Crows. Fifth touch for Mark Stevens. 35 metres out from goal. Kick on its way. And he's got Adelaide's third. Because he is a beautiful kick. 9-6-60 St Kilda and the Crows 3-5-23 they fell by 37 points McLeod starting to win a bit of the ball inside 50 some pushing and shoving and doing it well was that time with Jason picking up some possessions now that was possession number 9 Tawny from 40 metres out directly in front kicks a goal so a mission run in by Xavier Clark 660, they lead by 31 points, 4 5, 29. The Crows. And we've played nearly 26 minutes into this second term. Edwards to Matna, comes away from the edge of the centre square. Great grab! The Burton man, Burton over the top, plays on, kicks a goal. And all of a sudden, the Crows have come alive. It was such a great grab. Just injured himself a little bit on landing. But we've come to expect this from Brett Burton. This man who's got springs in the legs. Up over the top of Wolf. Superman. Good no, had the Birdman all over. He had to sit. But more importantly, Adelaide got a clear break out of the centre. They were able to manage to get their hands on the ball. And the importance of getting it out. Harvey and Edwards. The jump ball. The ground level. Kick to the square. And there's Kaczynski. Kicked two goals in his first game back. And he's looked really good. Make it three. Important goal to the Saints. In the lead out to 29 points. 57 plays 5 9 39. And the Saints led by 19 points at quarter time and 24 points at half time. And the nine minute mark of the second term led by 43 points. Poor kick in. Well read by Laddams. who's a left footer. So this could be a big turnover. Young man started his career with the Bombers. Now trying to make his mark with the Crows. He'll be kicking from around about 40 metres. Fraser Geerich on the mark. He's had, done a great job today. Wayne Kerry's been taken from the field. Laddams leans back. A beautiful kick off the boot. He's hammered at home. Tapped on to his teammate's uh, advantage was wonderful play from a young player. Chance for the Saints just 20 metres out from goal. Hamill. And that was a piece of individual brilliance we were talking about, Wayne. He just does so much bulky work, Aaron Hamill. He doesn't get up there and take the spectacular marks all the time, but when the ball's on the ground, he's just as dangerous as this highlight shows. Grabbed it out of the ruck, great play. Poor pressure from his direct opponent, and looking at the Adelaide Crows plays, the hands are on the knees, their heads are down, they look a beat side at the moment. Very 
will kick one great goal. Also took a great mark on centre wing. He's got talent. To 50. Milne looks dangerous at the back. The carry. Milne has pounced on it. The man with the dancing feet. It's bouncing, bouncing through. What a goal for St Kilda. Right on three quarter time. That could be the telling goal one. Well, uh, I mean, what more can you say about Stephen Milne? But I've mentioned it in this third quarter, the fact that the St Kilda players are prepared to, when they have to do the discipline thing, they do that, what's required for the team to do well. And that example, what I mean was Aaron Hamill's decision to punch when he was behind in a marking contest, created the opportunity for Luke Ball, got it forward to Stephen Mill, and this kick goes out. From centre wing to the half forward line, Stevens is going to be the target. Penny's been very good for the Saints today. McLeod, been a bit quiet, chance for Tawny. 35 metres out, can he swing it back? Great snap. Let's kick the goal. The front spot won the free kick as Clark switches it wide to Gary. Raking left foot to half forward, Hamill working hard again. 15 possessions, three marks to Aaron Hamill. He can go over the top to Max Hutchinson. Doesn't kick a lot of goals, Maxi from 25 metres out, slots that one. Five plays, 53. Just under 16 minutes left in this last quarter. This will be a boil over. Not too many people expect the Saints today to threaten the Crows. Edwards chips in and takes a chest mark. The leading possession winners, but they haven't really cut up St Kilda today. Important kick for the Crows. Edwards on a 45 degree angle. He's nailed it. Crows still alive win. Was in round 17 last year against the Dockers. Here's Hart. Gives it to John Cock. Goes to full forward. Rusciuto tries to work Thompson under the ball and does so successfully. Anything away from uh, Fraser Gehrig and, uh, and Penny, but he has looked very slow today. Does, and also I think a contributing factor has been the delivery into the forward line too. Adelaide have been a bit off the ball in their delivery and it certainly makes the job hard for a forward. As Rusciuto converts, he gets his first for the afternoon. McLeod will come away. It's a wide open forward line. Rusciuto the target. Great fist from Hudson. And then he goes and lays a tackle. Still numbers there for Adelaide. Gallagher to Edwards. McLeod can get it and go. He can load it up from 55. Just chips it over the top. Stenglein can trot in and kick a goal. He has. It's 15 points the difference at the Telstra Dome. This is good to the ball. Chance now for Swartz. Caught up in the tackle. Loose ball. Comes to Powell. Rockets the ball. Towards Harvey. Under pressure from John Cock. Perry comes away from half back. Some danger signs now for St Kilda. Tyson Edwards goes to the ground. Quick to recover. Here's a chance for Lallum. Drops the ball in. Rusciuto! Normally good fashion as they normally do. He's kicked 1-1. One, one. Great scoring shots coming in this final quarter. Rusciuto. Yeah, there's a great camera shot. From 35 metres out, Mark Rusciuto kicks a goal. They're within nine points. Clark against Capuano. This is dangerous because Clark is very good with his hands. Got the tap down, but Harvey was on the right side of the pack. Wins it for the Saints. They need a steadier to Moyle. He'll gather. He's on his wrong side. Kicks it inside 50. Milner chance. He's got it. Isn't that good play? Because who better would you like to be taking a kick for the Saints at the moment? He was kicked three. In different circumstances, he may run around the man on the mark. I don't know that we'll see it here. You just keep it simple. They need the goal, and they get it. Milne's got his fourth, and the Saints steady at the Tusker Dome. They've played 24 minutes into this last quarter. The Saints by 15 points. Clark over the top to John Cock. Streams out of the centre square. McLeod it was to Tyson Edwards. 50 metres out. Long bomb. Big bomb. Hit back. 
and a game that crows within nine points. They're the two, Edwards and McLeod. Wayne, we said they need to match them up, and they are almost single-handedly dragging Adelaide back into this game. They did, and we also mentioned, Jason, the importance of a clean getaway at the centre square. St Kilda did well to get a, a goal against the foul traffic, but they've let themselves down there, allowing Adelaide, McLeod, Edwards, clean possession, and a great goal and a great reply for the Crows. couldn't quite get the foot to ball effectively. Black wins it for the Saints. It's a foot race now. Tawny leads Xavier Clark. Clark works his way to the front. They both go to ground. Rewalt there to support. Got boot to ball and the Saints are away. Here's Powell. He can run to 65. He runs to 55. Long kick to the goal square. They get back. It's two on two at ground level. Milne. Milne. contesting the goal square. Great play by Rewalt on centre wing to spot up Powell, who's not really a penetrating kick. And of course, therefore, you had that real contest in the goal square, and they did contest, contest very hard and very strong the Suns. Yeah, I was a little bit concerned. Maybe Stephen Powell had picked the uh, wrong option, but what that long kick towards the goal square did had all the Adelaide defenders running towards goal. They had to then turn around, focus where the ball was, and that little guy there... Including the first goal of the game, to kickstart the Saints. 15-9-99, plays 12-12-84. The Crows won't go away. Stingline takes the hand pass from Edwards, pumps the ball deep inside, 50. Couldn't take it with Bassett. McLeod! He's kicked the goal! They won't go away, the Crows. And twice now, they've hit that quickly by Tyson Edwards, and now Andrew McLeod, and again it's back to a nine-point ball game. What a fascinating contest. Yeah, it's terrific. They managed to get another clean possession out of the centre square, and that's where the goals have come from in the last quarter. Adelaide, when they get a free run on the ball, players such as McLeod ran into space, they're very dangerous. Now's the time that if I was Grant Thomas, I'd be encouraging some players up near forward line, get behind the ball, just to check, congest things up in their defensive end. On the half-back flank. Looking for Harvey. Goes wide, Rewalt. So it's around the world in 80 days. Just a few seconds left in the game. A great roar will go around the stadium because St Kilda's pulled off a huge upset. That late Crows along with Brisbane. Favourites to win the flag this year. And St Kilda. Has completed the Crows. And there's Stephen Milne. He's at stake. He's built at five. Huxton and Rewald embrace. 15-9-99. So Saints by eight points over the Crows. 13-13-91. long days but the drought is over from the boys for the boys from Moravan